let's say your child has chosen this and you have paid for it, and then a few days later they want a different hot costume. This is where our own values come into play. Are you a parent who's gonna say, huh, okay, we can rummage through the costume box, we could go to the Goodwill and look and see what we find? Are you a parent who's like, okay, let's go on Amazon and I'll pay another $25? No matter what you decide, what's important here is that you are clear so that your child is clear. If you're not clear on the second option, your kid is gonna push and your lack of clarity is gonna make it really hard for them to cooperate. It's fine to buy another costume. It's fine to make a costume or go to Goodwill or find something in the, in the costume box. It's also fine to say, hey, sometimes I change my mind about what costume I wanna wear too and we can get another one. What matters is that you have a plan for how you're gonna handle this because at least half of us are gonna have this situation. Now, if it happens to you the morning before the school costume parade, it's a little different. Your choices are fewer. It's like, well, we could look in the costume box. We could skip the costume this year. This is tough. Again, the theme here is have a plan and you don't have to fix it. Happy Halloween.